I'm Rosanna, I work at Roselle, and today I'm here to tell you all about the objects that I have picked from our archives. We have Jasper, I think we'll talk about Jasper later, and we'll speak about the beautiful high chair. I selected this beautiful Victoria era convertible high chair uh, because it demonstrates a high level of craftsmanship that's not only practical, but also it's an extremely attractive piece of furniture. The chair is designed with functions such as a lever um, to adjust the seat height and a small latch which allows the tray area to be lifted to fold the chair for easy storage. This is what, expect, what we expect to find in a modern child's seat. But unlike modern seats made of plastic, this is made from a natural, environmentally friendly material. There's some debate over the origin of the high chair. There claims that the earliest seems to come from the late 19th century. However, children's chairs from the 18th century and earlier show that the woodworkers were adapting designs for younger users. This wasn't just a place for your child to sit and eat. This was a bespoke piece of furniture that could make life easier for all concerned. The best antique high chair converts into something more. The high chair on display is a portable chair on wheels for easy movement between rooms. Many of these chairs were also works of art with hand carved panels and turned spindles. The elaborate designs would have meant little to the children seated within the chair, but this was still a chance to show off to other families. The more complex the chair and more practical, the better off you were as a parent. Even a vintage wooden high chair tray from this period shows style and craftsmanship. 